Ozempic is a brand name for a drug known as semaglutide, which is used in licensed to treat diabetes. So, how does a diabetes medication actually cause weight loss? Well, the key here is already in our bodies. It's a hormone known as GLP-1. When we eat, our body produces so many different hormones to aid this digestion. GLP-1 is one of these hormones. And Ozempic completely mimics the molecules that we find in GLP-1. After you've had a meal, your intestines will release GLP-1. And this goes across the whole body. And different parts of the body are sensitive to GLP-1 because the cells within these parts have what we call receptors. An example being that the pancreas, when it is exposed to GLP-1, is able to increase the amount of insulin that it secretes. More insulin means that the body mops up excess glucose. You can see why it works really well in controlling and managing diabetes. Thinking about other body parts, for instance, the stomach, GLP-1 works here by slowing the rate at which the stomach empties all the food you eat. So this means two things. You can get fuller with less food and you feel fuller for longer. And this means that you have some weight loss. And lastly, thinking about the brain, GLP-1 works on this area by actually limiting and reducing those intense food cravings. So you're able to control a lot more of what you eat, therefore leading to weight loss. So we understand how Ozempic actually causes weight loss. You know, you're not entirely surprised that it's literally everywhere. There are millions of views on TikTok and YouTube videos. Hopefully this one is one of those videos. <laughs> and these videos are garnering so much attention because of how significant the effects of Ozempic are. Also, the research shows that currently about 26% of adults in the UK are classified as obese. And obesity has so many significant healthcare implications, including cardiovascular disease. Weight loss is really important in managing diabetes. The health risks of obesity really need to be managed because they can limit an individual's lifespan. So my question to you is, we have this magic drug that has been shown to cause weight loss and it's quite effective as well. Where's the problem? Well, my research onto this topic brought me to an uncomfortable conclusion. See, what we're seeing now is the focus shifting from diabetes treatment and treatment for people with obesity more to weight loss. So basically, just to picture things, we have patients on one side who really do need Ozempic and these kind of medications to manage all the complications and the conditions that they have. Whereas we have on another side patients that are relatively healthy that just want to lose a little bit of weight. And what's been happening is that this has led to a real reduction in the supply of Ozempic. Be completely honest with you, as a GP, I've noticed that a lot of my patients that require Ozempic for the diabetes treatments have actually been unable to actually access these important medications. So this opens up a wider societal question to all of us to ponder and think about. Should these drugs really be more equitably distributed so that the people that actually need it get it? Because we're in a situation now that is not necessarily the case. And Ozempic, like many other medications, does have its own side effects, including nausea, bloating, some abdominal discomfort and also changes in the bowel habits such as constipation or diarrhea. Thank you so much for watching today's video. We've had a think and taken a look at Ozempic. Importantly, I hope you understand from this video a little bit about how it works and why it actually causes weight loss. But more importantly, I want you to leave you just thinking to yourself about the wider societal challenges that we have when it comes to these kind of medications, as always, if you found today's video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Make sure you check out some of the other videos on our channel. And I'd love to have a two-way discussion with you today. So please leave some comments. I'm really more than happy to reply to them. Until the next time, I'll see you soon.